Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on 233 in data structures and design and analysis of algorithms. It is the advanced binary search tree. Okay, first of all, what is the reason behind to develop 233 from binary search tree? Okay, in binary search tree, Whenever we are performing insertion operations, the height of the binary search tree is increased. Okay, to keep the height of the binary search tree as low as possible, we have to develop one height balanced binary search tree called 233. 233 was developed by John Hopcroft in 1974. Okay, generally 233 is a height balanced binary search tree. Generally, it contains three types of nodes. One is a leaf node and second one is a two node. Third one is three node. Okay, first one is leaf node. A leaf node does not have any children and it has two, two, one or two data elements. Okay, so second one is two node. A two node contains a single data element or key element and it has two children. Okay, so this is the Example of two node. So here X is called as key element or data element. So two, two node has only one key element or data element and it has two children. So here L means it is a left child or means it is a right child. Okay, so this is the two node. Two node contains a single data element or key element and it has two children one is left child and second one is right child the value of the left child is less than the key element or data element the value of the right child is greater than the data element or key element it follows the binary search tree condition okay now go for three nodes a three node contains two data elements or key elements. That two data elements or key elements are ordered. Okay, here this is called as two data elements or key elements. Okay, and it has three children. So this is a left child and this is a middle child and this is a right child. Okay, this is the example of three node. A three node contains two data elements or key elements and it has three children that is left child, a middle child and right child. Okay, here the two data key elements are ordered. For example, here X and Y are two data elements or key elements. Here X less than Y. Okay, so next one. So left child, left, the value of the left child is always less than the uh, value at x. Okay, next one, middle child, the value at the middle child is in between the x and y. So that means x less than m, m less than y. Okay, next one, a right child, the value of the right child is greater than the value at y. Okay, so middle child always in between x and y values and left child is always less than x and right child is always greater than y. It follows the binary search tree property. Here the key elements, the key elements are always in increasing order. That means x less than y. Okay, next one, uh, leaf nodes. Leaf nodes does not have any child and one or two data elements or key elements. So now this is the example of 233. 
Okay, so here this is a three node because it contains two data elements or key elements and it contains three children. Okay, this is the left child and this is the middle child and this is the right child. Okay, so the value at the uh, the value at this node is always greater than eighty. Okay, so ninety is greater than eighty, hundred is greater than eighty. The value at the middle child is always in between sixty and eighty. So here seventy is greater than sixty and seventy is less than eighty. Next. The value at the left child is always less than the uh, 60, that is uh, 50. Okay. Next one. All leaf nodes, all leaf nodes are at the same level. This is the important property of 233. So these are the leaf nodes. It does not have any child and it has one or two data elements. It contains a single data element or key element. It contains a single data element or key element. It also a single data element. It also a single data element. It contains two data elements. So leaf nodes does not have any child and it has two, one or two data elements. So here, this is a two node. This is a two node. It contains a single data element and it has two children. Okay. It is also a two node. It contains a single data element and it has two chains. Okay, so this is the example of 233. Next, we go for properties of 233. Okay, the first property is 233 is a perfectly height balanced binary search tree because all the leaf nodes are at the same level. Okay. So these are the leaf nodes. All the leaf nodes are at the same level. Hence, we can say that 233 is a perfectly height balanced binary search tree always. Okay. Second point. Every internal node is either 2 node or 3 node. Okay. So what is internal node? A node which has children. That node can be treated as internal node. Every internal node is either a 2 node or 3 node. So here 20 has children, then it can be treated as 2 node. Oh, 2 node or 3 node. Okay, so th this can be considered as internal node and this can be also considered as internal node. So 20 is the internal node and this node is also internal node. Here 20 is a 2 node because it has one key element or data element and it has two children that is left child and right child. Okay, here this node is a 3 node. It contains two data elements or key elements and it has three children, left child, middle child and right child. Okay, so this node is also a internal node. It has two children, left child and right child, one data element or key element. Okay, so every internal node in 233 is either a 2 node or 3 node. Okay, next one. Data or key elements are stored in sorted order. Okay, for example, it contains two data elements or key elements that can be stored as in sorted order. First is 60, next one is 80 because 60 less than 80. So they are in sorted order. Next here, 90, 100 is there. 90 is less than 100. So that 90 and 100 is always in sorted order. Data, where data elements or key elements are always stored in sorted order or increasing order. Okay, next one. Each node has either one data value or two data values. Okay, this node contains one data value. This node contains one data value. This node contains two data values. This node contains one data value. This node, this node, this node contains one data value. But this node contains two data values. Okay. Each and every node contains either one data value or two data values. Okay. Next one. 
leaf nodes have no children and one or two data elements or key elements so these are all our leaf nodes that it does not have any childs but it has one or two data elements so this node contains one data element this and this and this and contains one data element but this node contains two data elements okay all leaf nodes are at the same level each leaf node does not have any child and each leaf node has one or two data elements or key elements okay next one operations performed on 233 are insert operation delete operation and search operations okay all these three operations that can be performed in big o of log n time okay next one the time complexity of 233 is big o of log n base 2 okay so these are the properties of 233 and this is the example of 233 okay so thank you thank you for watching this video if you like this video please share this video to your friends and classmates if you like this video please subscribe my channel name so divela srinivasa rao in the next video we go for 233 insertion operation